All right, welcome back, Oklahoma. 913 is your time, and this week we have definitely felt the heat in Oklahoma. Temperatures in the 90s and more than likely staying there are going higher during the summer months. So in studio this morning, we have Erica Rankin Riley with the State Department of Health to share some ways that you and your family can stay safe in this heat. Erica, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk about this. What are some ways that families can stay safe in these high temperatures just this week? 90 degree weather. Yeah. 90 degrees it can happen any time of year but especially you know june to august so basically staying cool staying hydrated and staying informed those are the three things that if i could tell someone hey do these and you'll be good avoid heat exhaustion heat stroke those are the top three absolutely and what are some things that people can avoid when they you know you, you do have construction workers that have to right. be outside in the heat so what can people do right now to avoid just heat exhaustion, heat rash, heat stroke, things like that. So if you're going to be outside, you want to think about the clothing that you're wearing. So wearing light colored, loose fitted clothing, pacing yourself when you are outside. If you're not used to these temperatures, make sure that you're listening to your body. Hey, I'm not feeling very good. Let's go inside, take a break, drink some water, and then also maybe planning to do some outdoor activities either in the early morning or evening, maybe when it's not as hot outside. Absolutely. absolutely. So being out in the heat, obviously it can be dangerous and we talked yes. about heat stroke and heat exhaustion and things like that. Um, but are there any other heat related illnesses that people should be aware of or just, you know, you do have a lot of kids at camp or going to summer camp right now. They might be outside for recess, things like that. What should people be looking out for? Right. You kind of mentioned the main two and then also thinking about other things, maybe a sunburn mm. or a heat rash. Those are some other things that we see. So really taking the time to pay attention to your body when you are in the heat and taking those precautionary steps to avoid getting sick. The State Department of Health has a lot of resources online yes. and out in the community. And we're not just talking about heat awareness here. We're talking about grilling awareness and also car safety. So talk more about that. What all can uh, the State Department of Health help you know, folks with at home. Yeah, so we're pushing a lot on our socials right now so people can easily find the information they need to stay, take steps to protect them and their families. Um, one of the things people may not think about is if you have a kiddo in your back seat, and we're doing so many things nowadays, running groceries inside and outside. So look before you lock, maybe put a personal item in the back seat just so you don't forget any kids in the back seat because your car temperature can get to extreme levels and it can be deadly. What are your social media accounts so people can go ahead and follow you just so they can be aware of these, you know, infographics that you all put out? These really helpful information for yeah. people. So it's at Healthy Oklahoma. In our that's our Instagram, our Twitter. So if you just go on and follow us, you'll be able to keep up with all the latest tips that we have to share. All right, and Erica, one last question. A lot of people, again, they're outside during these really extreme temperatures. Mm -hmm. Where can people find some more resources online with the State Department of Health? So our OSDH website, just even a quick Google search will get you there. And then, like I said, our socials will be another good way to keep up with us and everything we have to offer. All right, so wear light clothing, stay hydrated. And what was that last thing? Stay informed. Stay Watch your informed. local news. <laughs> All right, perfect. Erica Rankin, thank you so much for coming on and giving us really life-saving information.